Welcome back to Simply Nook. I'm Sean, your senior support technician. Today I'm going to show you how to re-thermal your 4x4 nook. What we will need today is your 4x4 nook, one Phillips head screwdriver, Q-tips. I have a pry tool that I use as an applicator, our thermal paste, and some isopropyl alcohol. Let's get started. Okay, so to start, it's going to be just like any of our other 4x4s. Now there will be slight differences per, you know, different chassis, but for the most part, it's going to be the exact same process. We're going to start by loosening the four bottom plate screws and removing the bottom plate. So typical reasons to reapply thermal paste would be your thermal paste is old. You just haven't replaced it. Your device is overheating. Uh, it is always good to take proper preventative maintenance care precautions with your units, uh, keeping them clean, blowing them out. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the front and back IO plates. It just makes it easier for us to get the board out. Now you're not gonna be able to do this on Intel models, but with Simply Nooks models, you have a little bit more convenience. So I am going to remove this. Your power button here is gonna be connected to the board. We're gonna go ahead and remove that. Make sure we remove our wireless antennas. All right, and I'm going to remove the two screws holding the board to the chassis. So they will come out when I lift the board up. I'm take those screws and set those off to the side. And now that we have our board out, I'm gonna move the chassis off to the side and out of our way. This is the top of the board. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over because we want to get access to the fan and the heat sink. We are going to unplug our fan here. We're going to remove the screws holding the fan down to the heat sink. And we are going to lift the fan off. We're going to disconnect the CMOS battery because the CMOS battery is attached to the fan there just by a double-sided adhesive. And we can set that off to the side. We now have access to our heat sink. With those loose, we will pull up on the heat sink. And we are gonna set the heat sink off over here because not only are we gonna wanna clean the already existing thermal paste off the die, we're gonna to wanna to clean it off of the heat sink as well. We don't want to apply new thermal paste, just the one and then mix the two. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the easy part, cleaning off the die, making sure there's no thermal paste left anywhere on here. What I typically do is I'll take a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and I'll fill the cap up just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot, just enough to kind of soak up a Q-tip in there. So now we got our Q-tip soaked up here a little bit. I'm gonna make sure it's not dripping, dripping. We want just enough here that we can kind of get this dried thermal paste up and moving. All right, now that we have the dye a little bit clean here, I'm just gonna blow off a little bit with some compressed air uh, or an electronic air blower, just to make sure we don't have any particulates left on here. Let's set that off to the side. Now that our dye is clean, we're gonna focus our attention onto the heat sink. I'm gonna set our board off to the side over here, and we're gonna clean all this thermal paste off the heat sink, same way. All right, now that we have the thermal paste removed off of both the heat sink and the die here, I'm gonna go ahead and move our heat sink back over and bring our board on over. We are going, we are going to grab our thermal paste here and we're gonna apply a little bit. We don't need globs of thermal paste on here. We just need a little bit and we will spread it out evenly across the die. A 
we're just going to kind of spread this very gently, very carefully. All right, with our thermal paste evenly spread across our die, we're going to go ahead and reattach our heat sink. So we're going to line that up. Now I'm going to go across diagonally here to make sure that once this heat sink is tightened down, it evenly spreads out the rest of that thermal paste across the dies. Now we don't want to over torque this. Just want to get it in there finger tight. All right, and now we're going to begin the reassembly process. And that's how you reapply thermal paste to your 4x4 nook. Thank you again for choosing Simply Nook.